Hey everyone, so we've been talking about Switch Pro quite a bit, and just as I was settling in for the night, of course, massive Switch Pro news has dropped. Holy crap. Uh, this is the biggest Switch Pro news we've had in a while. Now, you guys remember uh, a prior video I did where I talked about a couple sources I had on some stuff that's happening behind the scenes of manufacturing and marketing. Uh, but now we got some spec-related things to talk about. This is insane. Comes from Bloomberg. Comes from the man, Takahashi Machizuki, who has been one of the originators of these leaks forever. He has deep connections in Japan. Let's just read his article on Bloomberg. But before we do this, before we do this, I want to remind you, well, <laughs> we're giving away a copy of Monster Hunter Rise. Oh, yes, Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, oh, and by the way, two $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift cards. Three winners this month. Head down to the description or the pinned comment to enter. All right, let's read this amazing Switch, uh, Switch Pro news, and then we'll talk about it. Nintendo plans to unveil a model of its Switch gaming console equipped with a bigger Samsung OLED display this year, hoping the larger touchscreen can prop up demand in time for the holidays, people familiar with the plan said. Samsung Display Company will start mass production of a 7-inch 720p resolution OLED panel as early as June with an initial monthly target of just under a million units, said the people who asked not to be identified discussing internal matters. The displays are slated for shipment to assemblers around July. The people said the representatives for Nintendo and Samsung Display declined to comment. Nintendo seeks to sustain a Switch lineup that continues to sell well against the Xbox and PlayStation next to the pandemic era breakout. Hits like Animal Crossing and Chip Crunch that plague supply of rival devices, but the gadget is now in its fifth year well, technically, tomorrow is the start of the fifth year. Uh, both have new and more powerful machines in the market. The gaming community has speculated online about the introduction of an OLED or organic light-emitting diode screen, but Nintendo has stayed mum, and President Shatura Furukawa said in February his company has no plans to announce a new Switch anytime soon. Samsung's involvement is the strongest indication that Nintendo is serious about updating the console on a large scale. It said the OLED panel will consume less battery, offer higher contrast, and possibly faster response time when compared to the Switch's current Liquid Crystal Display, said Yoshia Tamura, co-founder of Display Consultancy DSCC. In February, Nintendo raised its annual forecast after the Switch helped the company to its best quarterly earnings since 2008. The game maker hopes to sustain that run in 2021 despite stiffening competition and an ebbing pandemic. Nintendo decided to go with rigid OLED panels for the new model. The people said a cheaper but less flexible alternative to the type commonly used for high-end smartphones. The latest model will also come with 4K ultra high definition graphics when paired with tvs they said that could intensify a long-standing complaint of developers who have struggled with the difference in resolution between handheld and tv modes and now face a bigger gap between the two the deal benefits samsung display because the market prices for so-called rigid oled panels have been falling due to excess supply winning a customer like nintendo also helps the korean giant an affiliate of samsung electronics company firm up production plans nintendo in turn secures a valuable partner and supplier at a time semiconductor shortages are squeezing the supply of display related components the new display's resolution mirrors the current switch and switch Lite, but is an upgrade from the switch's 6.2 inch and lights 5.2 5 inch. If the console's housing remains unchanged, the new switch is likely to sport a thinner bezel. So here is what we learn. One. Well, really, we learn a few things. OLED. Nintendo's going with OLED. Can you hold on. like can I just breathe for a moment? Nintendo is going with OLED. Now, from the sounds of it, it's just getting rid of the bezel on the current switch. So essentially. The, the screen is basically, you, you look at the current Switch with the bezel, get rid of that bezel on the bigger Switch model, and that's what the size of the screen is going to be. That, if you get rid of that bezel, it's about 7 inches. So we have an idea now of what size the screen is, that it's OLED. Now, 720p is going to be disappointing for some people, of course, uh, but it also allows Nintendo to still go with a lower power profile in handheld mode. You're still going to get way higher colors, and Nintendo probably did internal testings between a 1080p and 720p panel and probably determined that the difference 
you know, the noticeable difference on the end user isn't that large. I mean, as an example, you know, people will have like a 4K smartphone, like a 4K screen, and then they'll have like, you know, a little 720 or 1080p screen from another company. And most consumers can't tell the difference between the two. They just can't. The screens are too small. When you're on a smaller scale, there's less benefit from 4K. In fact, some people even said you can't even notice 4K unless you have like a 50 inch TV and you're, you know, so close to it. So, it, anyways, I, that's not here. We're not here to debate over whether 4K is better, 1080p is better. Of course it is. But OLED 720p, and what's interesting is that the choice of the OLED panel to go with a rigid display is interesting. And it seems like it's because. Hey, look, Nintendo could get the parts for cheap. It's not that the parts are bad. Most companies use a more flexible OLED display. But that doesn't mean that rigid OLED displays are worse. You know, they're just, you have to basically manufacture exactly the spec versus uh, traditional, you know, OLEDs that are on high end TVs. So this is actually really, really good news. We're getting a much better panel. Colors should be much more vibrant. Blacks will be, you know, black. And uh, yeah, it's just going to have a lot better contrast. It's just going to be a better overall screen. And the more interesting thing here is 4K. This is a legitimate source telling you when you dock the system, it outputs 4K. Okay, how the hell is it doing that? How the hell is it doing that? How are you going from 720p to 4K? I'll tell you how. Deep learning super sampling. Folks, this is going to be a new chip. Nintendo's using a new chip. It's like official at this point. Nintendo is using a new chip. They're getting rid of the X1. They're going with a new variant that's newer technology that has tensor cores and RT cores, and they're going to be pushing DLSS 2.0. That's how they're going to do it. And you might be like, oh, well, you know, the power profile differences have to be so big. Developers are going to really struggle between 4K and 720. Not nah, with DLSS. Because what they can do is they can push the graphics to a higher fidelity at 720p. Still do 1080p native dock, but DLSS 2.0, that SOB up to 4K. And have it look really close to what we're getting from the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we've had we've had you know this information about 4K come from other people, but not from Bloomberg, not from Tachihashi Makazuki. He is finally saying no, it's happening. And guess what? He says we're getting it this year. Switch Pro is coming this year. Now there is some information here that contradicts some of my sources. As an example, I said, hey, Nintendo has a couple assembly lines going, uh, and they're saying, hey, look. The panels themselves are not going to be hit, not going to be hitting Nintendo until basically June, July, and then they're going to be making about a million units, you know, a month or something like that, which would give them about five or six million units uh, by launch of this holiday. Does that contradict uh, some information I have? Absolutely. So take that for what you will. I said when I put out that video, hey, look, I don't know about these guys. And again, I don't know his sources either. Clearly from manufacturing, of course, one of the sources directly speaking in the article. Uh, so this is, oh boy, guys. We're getting a 4K switch this year. We're getting an OLED panel this year. We're getting brand new technology this year. Get pumped. It's probably going to come in a very similar form factor. Still going to be using Joy-Cons. Hopefully redesigned Joy-Cons, but either way, this is exciting news. Switch Pro 2021. Tachikachi Machizuki is saying, book it. Are you ready? Are you guys ready for this? Does this mean Breath of the Wild 2 is coming this year? They got to have something big to launch it with. And I'm sorry, Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl are not going to be the right games to launch this with, even though it'll sell units, of course. I'm not saying Pokemon's not a system seller. That sounds like a Breath of the Wild 2. 2021, I'm double hyped now. My mind is just, holy crap. All right, folks, you let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nintendo Rebel Jets from Nintendo Prime. Woo! Let's go. Catch you in the next video.